Hey everyone, welcome back to Tales of Rebirth. We are going to challenge this boss for the third time, and this time we are going to win. So here we go with the Shaorun battle again. In the last episode, uh, he insta-killed us twice. So this time, um, as vague, I'm gonna kind of maybe hang back a bit and just use a bunch of uh, items like auto res gummies on some of the uh, characters. We'll get some damage in first here. Okay, now it's time to hang back and do item spam. See, I'm not really sure what triggers his insta-kill attack. You know, it could be that it's just vague being aggressive or, you know, who knows, but I'm going to go ahead and hang back and just keep the uh, other characters alive yeah, as best I can. See, that time uh, he didn't do his insta-kill near the end of the battle. So I'm not really sure what triggers it. You know, or if just not fighting or being as aggressive with vague is what does it. Or if you just get lucky. So, the kind of final test here. You know, he's... He's asking, who's this girl next to you? And he's saying, it's Claire. Even though it doesn't look like Claire. And that's the end of the third test. So Vegas is wondering, is that really the answer that you were looking for? Shaorun is saying that, you know, it didn't really matter what the actual answer was that you gave, it's just... You know, what was in your heart that you were answering true. Since you're confused, you know, but of course that's okay. 
you know, because Claire is, you know, in a different body. So it's natural to be confused about the situation. Vegas wondering if Shaorun can switch Claire back, but he can't do it. Only the, you know, moon ability. So, do you want my power of water? So, here we go. So, bring out your force. Alright, we got our hero with the Seiju no Chikara. Vague, get power. No, next is Hilda. And she's been wanting that. Another riddle. He's gonna wait outside for us. So Shaorun is gonna go with us on this trip. He likes people and wants to learn more about them. He's gonna become our wings. Now we've got our flying transportation. I guess it looks like we got another friend. So let's get out of here and meet up with Shaorun. So I'll go ahead and jump out of this dungeon so you guys don't have to see it again. and automatically will be picked up by Shaorun. Oh yeah! That epic flying music. パーフが住んでいたという場所を見つけるのが当面の目標だな。東大陸の北方っていうと、京具園やノルゼンかな。これが聖獣なのね。ああ。聖獣って可愛い。そう。ありがとう。クレアはいい本や本気顔知らないから
君たちには大切な使命があるってことを So now is the best time in the game you know, to pick up treasure chests that are sitting around the world. You know, you can just drop right down, pick them up, fly some more. And you can pretty much go to any spot. There are some secret locations. You know, extra content, mini side quests that you can do. I might show a few small、uh, parts of those, but we're gonna stick to the、uh, main story for now. So we need to go to where Hilda was born, which is here. It's called Mogurado Village. But,、um, yeah, you can see there's a couple places here on the map that you can go with Shaorun, some islands and things. But this is your next destination. Stekina Mafra! Shaorun, Stekina Mafra, s t e k i n ありがとうクレアクレアもお揃いにしてみないえ私もうんそうね考えとくわシャオルンクレアに変なものを勧めないでくれつい、クレア、would you like to try to wear my muffler? Now, this is the place we're supposed to go but you notice、um, you, you can't get into it or anything because、uh, technically we're not supposed to be here So, let me show you the steps to get here.、Um, we're gonna talk to this、uh, bear guy. It may not be necessary, but he says, France,、um, you know, France san, who's the explorer. He's in Norzen, Norzen village he went to. Remember, he was here earlier, exploring the world. And we don't have enough information about where the haves live. So, talk to him and he'll tell you where Franz is. And we need to talk to Franz first. And he'll tell us where that village is. So, even though I showed you where it was, you know, we kind of skipped a step. And technically, you can't go there until you've actually talked to Franz about it. So, he's over here in Norzen. Norzen. And this part of the game will be like the last、uh, sticking point for you know, people if you're playing the Japanese version. Or once again, even the English patch, I'm not sure. But we will have to enter a message. So there's, there's Franz right there in the middle of town. Long time no see, Franz san. So, we're gonna have to enter a Japanese answer here in order to get the story to continue. Of course, he's confused about Claire because this is a different Claire, so Vague explains the whole thing about them body swapping. France has been quite helpful for most of this game. So, T Tray is asking if he knows of a place where half lives. You 
Since, you know, there aren't very many halves in the world. You know, he would really like to go to such a place if there was such a village. <laughs> Don't give up, Annie. They think that, uh, you know, France doesn't know, then nobody knows since he knows more than most people about the world. So we gotta figure out a hint about Hilda. You know, and this village of the half, you know, where halves would live. So, uh, this is the part of the game where we're gonna have to enter a message in Japanese. And um, there are actually several answers that are valid for this part of the game. You could put half, you know, because she's a half. I think there's about four different possible answers. I don't know them all, but I'm going to put card um, as the easiest one. Um, make sure you put that dash in the middle. It can't just be kado. So there's the answer, kado, you know, because she uses uh, her tarot cards. And that's something unique about Hilda, you know, that'll give us a clue. So you can pause the video if you want, um, if you need the answer there. So tarot cards are you know, something that makes you know Hilda unique and kind of a clue of her origins. You know the Wang Yin said that it was an incredibly rare item. So we're gonna have a conversation here where France thinks it's pretty rare. And he's wondering how Hilda got it, and she doesn't know. But anyway, there'll be a long dialogue there, and when it's finished, we can now actually enter this village. So this is Mokrado village, where the half-halves live. And fortunately, this is the last real village in the game that we'll have to do, you know, a bunch of, you know, kind of village stuff, you know, with dialogue and, you know, running back and forth, talking to people. So after this, we won't have quite as much of the town link things like I've been mentioning, where you got to do a bunch of stuff in each new village that you find. By the way, this uh, village has probably the uh, best armor in the game and the best weapons in the game that you can actually purchase. I think there might be some in the final dungeon and the secret dungeon as well. But for purchase, um, this place has probably the best stuff in the game for purchase. So, first we're going to go in here and talk to this grandpa and grandma. He's a grandma, but he knows he's a human and she's a Gajima. So this is kind of a mixed village. So once you talk to them, they mention um, Raida, which is um, actually Hilda's mother, even though she doesn't know it. And we're gonna go uh, talk to Raida here in her house. So Hilda heard that there was you know, somebody that used cards just like this. And she said, it must be you. And 
And Riot is wondering where you got these. Hilda doesn't know, so she came here to find out. What's your name? Hilda. And you must be a half. Why do you know that? There's a long conversation there where um, the mother kicked Hilda out. You know, just it was too much for her. And she's kind of angry at her mother, so Claire is telling her, you know, we've come this far, we need to talk to her and, you know, make amends. <laughs> And I had to put the girl slap in there. You know, Claire is trying to get her to go and see her mother again. And Hilda, you know, doesn't care because she was pretty rude to her, you know, abandoned her as a child. It's like, if you want to know the truth, this is your chance. Even though, you know, you don't have, you have a body that you didn't want. So Hilda's going to try and go and talk to her mother one more time here. Not sure why her mother, you know, kicked her out. So go back in here to talk to Raina again. She says to get out. And once again, there's another conversation where we're forced to leave. So I think the mother just doesn't want, you know, Hilda to be in danger or to put her in a dangerous situation. But we'll see. And of course, when Hilda does her trials, you know, we'll get to see the past and we'll actually get to see what really happened. This place also has some of the best um, of the accessories, emeralds. So emerald rings, these are the most powerful in the game. But there's no way I can afford anything right now. So to learn a little bit more about Raida, we're going to go talk to the elderly couple here that we talked to in the beginning. This bear grandma and the old man. And there'll be a long scene there. And as we try to leave town... Another... Strong force reaction! And guess who? Our villain shows up... With his evil organ music. <laughs> he's mad that we're going after these guardian spirit powers. So he's come to stop us. <laughs> so this will be our grave. Ah, oh, there's Raida. Who are you? You don't even remember? You know, how dare you? You were the one that stole our baby Hilda from us. Oh, you're the girl from that time. So he killed Hilda's father and stole Hilda. 
So she wasn't abandoned as a child. <laughs> the great story of a half who is abandoned and everything. Basically, Toma kidnapped her and you know, made up the story that she was abandoned and you know, he wanted to use her half abilities you know, as part of the king's guard. It's like, I won't allow you to say bad things about my daughter. What are you going to do about it? You couldn't even protect your daughter at that time. And this time... She protected Hilda from a rather dangerous blast there. Hang in there. Hilda, take this. She's giving her tarot cards to Hilda. I'm sorry for you know, telling you to leave and making you suffer all this time. What a stupid woman. What a stupid couple they were. They both used their lives to protect their daughter. So my father died because... That's right. He didn't even see the attack. Unforgivable, I will not forgive you. We have to put Hilda in the party, so if she's not in the party for this battle, you'll have to swap it out real quick. Alright, now to kick some Toma at rear. I'm sick of this guy this time, no mercy. I'm not gonna let up until he's down on the ground. That insta kill is nasty. I love T Tray just punching him all over the place. Right, down you go. Hilda's got some new power. 
Help me, help me. Uh... That's right, you better <laughs> run, boy. Vague should have finished him off. Get up, open your eyes, look at me. Your mother is... This is no joke. So many things I wanted to ask. So many things I wanted to say to you. You can't be just like dying here. Why was I born? For what purpose was I born? Answer me. You're my mother, right? Answer me. What am I? So Raida said if ever I died before my daughter came here, give her this message. So it's kind of her final letter to Hilda. She was kidnapped. It's like, I'm sorry I can't apologize, you know, myself. It's like, we knew that you'd be suffering and having a hard time, you know, because you were a half born from a human in a Gajima. But you were our hope and you were also our happiness. So there was a long part there with the letter. It's like the only thing I really wanted was just to say to that person. I didn't even call her mother once. <laughs> so in the next episode... Um, we're going to do Hilda's dungeon, and uh, we'll find out about a bunch more of Hilda's past, so we'll see some backflashes of what really happened with her parents. So stay tuned, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Ja, minasan, matane! Thanks for watching.